everybody welcome back to my channel I know that you have missed me on Wednesdays but issues with memory card issues with editor I can't wait to get my new laptop with all those upgraded specs so I can go ahead and use my camera and don't have to be editing on my phone but guys I am still grateful and I'm happy that I'm able to come on with another video I've done this video I've lost half of it because of the memory card I um, did the other half over but I don't know so I'm trying this for the third time so they say three times is a charm but I welcome you this morning to my channel so this is motivation Wednesday and guys what I'm gonna talk to you about today I pray that you will be motivated you will be encouraged and the whole works so I'm going to talk to us today about our conversations. We ought to be careful what kind of conversation we have with other persons, especially for a Christian person. Be careful who you converse with. The other day, which this is like about a month ago by now, um, I was talking to a few persons, it was about four of us, and you know, you were just having conversation, you were talking about what's happening around us and all that, and then um, a conversation came up about relationship, where there are older men having relationship with younger ladies and vice versa. Now, one of the guys mentioned that... It has been happening like ages ago yes I agree but then he continued and he went on to say Mary and Joseph that Joseph was much older than Mary and could not get her pregnant so Mary was impregnated by a rich man he said this when I was on my way out so you know I took a break put it in neutral and I step out and I was like all right where did you get that and he said I read my Bible every morning and I read my Bible every night before I go to sleep I said yes I understand but who told you and where in the Bible did you find it where Mary was impregnated by a rich man so his response was the wise man them the tree man them he didn't say wise men he said the tree man them did bring gold and silver and pearls and all these things and them said them follow the stars and okay so i said all right hold on back up, back up. question if mary was impregnated by a rich man and Herod the king wanted to kill the baby. And uh, this rich man would have power enough to stop Herod, right? Why would she run and have the baby in a manger? Alrighty, that was my question. So he was like, well, I don't know. I said, okay. How did the three men find Mary? You said them said them follow the star, but them could not ever follow the star. I said, okay. The star, they were directed to follow the star. And after they find baby Jesus with Mary and Joseph, then they would not go back the same direction they came. They would go the other way. Because the King Herod not supposed to know where Jesus was. Because he wanted to kill Jesus, right? 
but he insisted about the rich man. I was like, so he said, all right, so how did she get pregnant? I said, she was impregnated by the Holy Spirit. And even the angel came and told Joseph to call the baby Jesus. You say you read your Bible every morning before you come out and every night before you go to bed. So how did you miss that one? Guys, I am one of the person that do not. All right. If you back me into a corner about the Bible and about religion and all that, I can defend myself. But I do not deliberately go out to have a conversation about denomination, religion, the controversy of the Bible, because most persons said that the Bible is not controversial. What's the word? It's um, contradicting. Yes. But if you read this story in the Bible and it says so, when you read the same story in, an, in another scripture and it says something else, you need to go back and check both stories and you will see that they connect. No contradiction. They connect. So guys, I was um, like, this is weeks later, you know, I was having a conversation with some guys online and we ended up start talking about the bible and stuff but then it started to get into the religion section so i said look i do not entertain a conversation where it comes to denomination and religion per se but then somebody asked another question and i made myself clear i said look we're not talking about denomination or religion. We're talking now about Jesus. We're talking now about our souls. Listen, I believe that if you go out and you're having a conversation with somebody, if you do not talk about God, somewhere along that conversation, we're not talking. I am not saying that I am what you would see. I'm holier than thou not at all no way i'm not but the thing is no one is going to try to change my mind from what i believe in so i'm not going to go into any battle with anybody i know who god is i don't need you to try and convince me who is not so i back up to this conversation i was talking to these gentlemen and another lady was there and I mean, it's like I was preaching or something. I mean, anytime anybody come to me with a contradic contradicting story of what I read and understand in the Bible, people, it's like there is fire coming from the inside of my body and I start to sweat. If I'm in the air condition, I mean, literal sweat till I start dripping. Yes. Come on. Christians, believers, brothers and sisters, never let anyone back you into a corner to try to convince you of anything other than there is a God. And this God made us. You can stand there and be talking to me and he just do like this. And you're out like a light. I asked this. The one that was there ranting and whatever. You know, I paused with him. And I turned to the other gentleman and I said, Do you believe in a higher being? And he said, he's, he's not sure of what I asked him. So I said to him, when you go to your bed at night and you go to sleep, do you know what's happening around you? He said, no. And then I went on to say, and then you wake up in the morning and you cannot say that there was a bird outside or anything. No. I said, when you wake up in the morning, who do you think wake you up? How many persons go to their bed at night and do not wake up? their last breath in their sleep 
Do you believe that there is a higher power? And he thought about my question and he says, yes. And I said, all right, Jesus was crucified to save us. Do you believe that? Yes. Okay. And he rose three days later. Yeah, I'm read it in the Bible and all that. Yes, but do you believe? Do you believe these things? Listen, guys. When we are getting into the Bible, into the Word, this is what I was talking to somebody about the other day, and I said, it takes one day at a time. If you read a scripture and you do not understand that scripture, I advise you to go back and read it. You read it the second time and you still don't understand, you ask God for understanding. Sometimes you go the third time and you do not understand, but this is the time now when you must have somebody that you know that is a veteran in this thing and you talk to that person whatever you understand and what they understand you can put it together and then you can sit and analyze and you are this work but what i'm saying guys be careful of who you sit or stand or surround yourself with be careful of the conversations that you're holding with others because us in Christendom gotta be careful, especially now. People will be talking to you about stuff and you say the wrong thing. And you don't even realize it. Friends, brothers, sisters, my subscribers, my viewers, whether you're a Christian or not, Careful of what comes out of this thing. This thing in Jamaica, they would say, "Mud crawl, cut cross way." It can't say anything. Yes, but you need to make sure you know what you're going to say before it comes out of your mouth. People blaspheme because they not think before them talk. People disrespect others because they just talk and they don't even know what they're saying until after they come out of their mouth. Come on. Control this. If you don't know what to say or you're not sure, lock your mouth. Zip. But. Hear what I think. You all gotta just do it yourself nobody yes i can introduce you to god i can introduce you to christ i can tell you about the word but i cannot save your soul you gotta have a one-on-one -on -one relationship with god not me my mother my father my sister my brother and jesus none of them can save me I gotta do it for myself. Because if you don't know God for yourself, people, you're in a problem. If me don't know God for myself, me, definitely in a problem. Not only just believe, know him. Know him for yourself. Guys, remember, be careful. I know of somebody that made a mistake and said something out of their mouth and it was God himself that saved that person from death yeah God himself and if you ever hear that story people God himself called the person and said look I save your life today because I have a purpose for you listen to me if you know you have a purpose where God is concerned or God have a purpose for you, watch your mouth. Lock your mouth. Zip it. Silent. Remember you can pray in your mind. Trust me guys. I speak from experience. Anything I come on here and I tell you, it's not stories. 
is what I've seen. Yes, is what I've seen. I'm gonna close here today. But remember, guys, sanitize, wear your mask, stay safe, guys. Remember, ask God for understanding. You can ask Him for wisdom and knowledge.